Hi, welcome to Entertainment with Last YouTube Channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the top 10 most watched movies in November 2022. Before we start the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for upcoming updates. Luckily, 2022 has a lot of good stuff on the horizon. From horror to comedy to superheroes to action, a lot of really innovative movies and talented filmmakers will be putting their stuff on display. Seriously, from stuff like the majestic-looking Black Panther, Wakanda Forever to the much-awaited Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery and more, there's a ton of stuff that we've got our eyes on. And hell, we're a bit more than halfway through the year and already have tons of movies that have entertained us, made us think, and downright awed us. Let's start the video. Number 1. Scream The new Scream, the fifth in the slasher whodunit series, had a lot working against it. It's been more than a decade since Scream 4 hit theaters, and in the time since, Wes Craven, who directed every prior movie in the series, died. Another sequel could have been a disaster. Luckily, Scream was made by directors Tyler Gillett and Matt Batnelli Olpin with the main goal of being something Craven would be proud of. And they achieved that mission. Legacy cast members Nave Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette are joined by exceptional newcomers like Jack Quaid, Jasmine Savoy Brown, and Jenna Ortega for a movie that's entertaining and fun, but most importantly just feels like a Scream movie. Scream 6 has already been ordered, and to that we say, hell yes. Number 2. Jack is Forever. The guys, Johnny Knoxville, Steve-O, Wee Man, etc., may have gotten older, but the fun, thankfully, remains the same. Jack is Forever is the high-quality, low-bro humor that fans of this franchise have been loving for 20-plus years, even longer if you count the original MTV series. And as long as these guys want to keep taking part in this madness, we'll be watching. Number 3. Kimmy. The term Hitchcock in gets thrown around far too often, but one filmmaker who can actually try to be like the master of suspense and come through with 100% success is the great Steven Soderbergh. So he teams up with Zoe Kravitz for a fantastic thriller that's got a simple premise, basically a modern version of Rear Window, and it crushes it. Number 4. I Want You Back I Want You Back is fairly standard stuff for a rom-com, but it's got a wildly charismatic cast led by a pair of great leads, Charlie Day and Jenny Slate, and fun supporting players, Gina Rodriguez, Manny Jacinto, and Scott Eastwood. The movie zigs a little bit from the standard formula along the way, and ultimately proves to be a worthy comfort movie for anyone who needs one. Number 5. The Batman We've seen lots of Batman before, but the Batman is something different. We've got a new Dark Knight in Robert Pattinson, an actor known to take huge risks. We've got a super cool Catwoman in Zoe Kravitz, a Zodiac Killer-esque Riddler played by Paul Donham, and a totally unrecognizable Colin Farrell in a brand new take on The Penguin. Director Matt Reeves has helmed more than a few good movies, and his neo-noir, unique take on Batman is another one for the list. Now we just wait to see what he does next. Number 6. Fresh. Sebastian Stan is having himself a year. While he spent a few weeks grinding everyone gears as the boorish rocker Tommy Lee in Hulu's Pam and Tommy, he dove all the way into the creepy slash horror slash genre with his portrayal of the charming on the surface, but with some dark secrets boyfriend of Daisy Edgar Jones, normal people in Fresh. The movie earned raves out of Sundance and made similar waves when it landed on Hulu and word of its twisted plot hit the internet. Horror fans won't want to miss this fun one. Number 7. X. Writer slash director Ty West is at his best when he's in nostalgia horror mode. Check out The House of the Devil. And he went for it big time with X, an A24 produced comedy about a group of young filmmakers, including lead Mia Goth, playing a dual role along with Britney Snow, Kid Cutie, and new screen queen Jenna Ortega will set out to make an adult film in Texas before shit gets really out of control. The movie is a slow burn, but really pays off in the end, and is a far better tribute to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre than the other 2022 movie that actually holds that franchise's name. Number 8. Pearl 
Ty West and Mia Goth have a second elite horror movie in 2022 with Pearl, an origin story prequel to X. The film follows Goth as the titular character, set against the backdrop of the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. Where X is more of a slasher, Pearl is a horror-driven character study that builds and builds as it goes. West has described it as a demented Disney movie, and that feels just about right. You'll need to lock in to appreciate the intricacies of this character-driven story, but the last 20 to 30 minutes or so, and Goth's masterful performance within it, make it so, so worth it. With these two X films, and a third, titled MegXXXine coming soon, West and Goth have created the best original horror franchise of the last decade. Number 9. We're All Going to the World's Fair We're All Going to the World's Fair was a hit at Sundance back in 2021, but it was officially released and later landed on HBO Max in 2022. The movie is a low-budget but incredibly inventive and interesting type of grounded horror centered on the modern world of internet challenges and the kinds of weird things that can stem from them. Part real horror, part unsettling realism. If you'd imagine a combination of Candyman, Unfriended, and The Ring with the terrifying realism of the little scene compliance, you'd get we're all going to the world's fair. And for my fellow short attention span havers, even more good news, it's only 85 minutes or so long. Number 10, The Lost City. We're not going to pretend like this Sandra Bullock slash Channing Tatum vehicle is about to win any Oscars, but it's fun. Bullock plays a writer of romance adventure novels, while Tatum is the guy depicting her fictional characters on the covers of the books. Add in Daniel Radcliffe as a crazy rich guy who thinks something written in her books is a real treasure hunt, and so he drops the two of them into the jungle. A fun movie with incredibly fun lead performances a truly great smooth brain cinematic experience. That's all for today. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for upcoming amazing and informative.